Hey everyone, I've been getting a lot of questions and emails about cracking a WPA network. The main issue that most people have is finding a good dictionary or password file. For that reason, I've decided to help everyone out and create a very good dictionary file. It's been my experience that at least 50% of all people that have a WPA network will use their current phone number as their password, which happens to be a 10 digit number. So I've created a program to do just that. This program will create either an 8, 9, or 10 digit password of every single combination, 0 to 9, and save it as a text file so you can use it to crack a WPA password. To get this program, go to the download link on the description of my video. The current link that you see on this page right now might not be the same link that's on the video, being that I might have removed the program then re-uploaded it. So check on the description of the video to get the latest program. The file will be zipped up into a WinZip file, so you'll have to download WinZip to unzip it. So you can just get it from download.com and then type in WinZip and then click on this one. And then click download now. Once the file is downloaded, it will look something like this. Dictionary Maker by TV12K in a zip file. Double click it and WinZip will open up. And then you should see two files in it. Dictionary.exe, which is my dictionary file. And I included a couple of test handshake files if you want to try out the dictionary file yourself. Just click both the files and extract it to the desktop. I'm selling this program for $10. Once I receive the payment of $10 through PayPal, I'll give you the password. But meanwhile, let me type in the password. Okay, here are the two files. The test handshake file and the dictionary file. So let me show you the dictionary file. There are five options to choose from. Option A creates an eight-digit password file, which is the minimum for any WPA network. Option B, which I doubt applies to many networks, will create a nine-digit password file of every single digit. Option C, which is a large file, but will definitely crack any phone number, creates every single 10-digit number. I also added to this program option D, which will make one big dictionary file with 8, 9, and 10-digit numbers. But I feel that the best and fastest option, which I feel that most of you will use, is option E, which you enter the first three digits of any area code you live in, and it makes a 10-digit word list from that area code. For example, Let's say where I live, everyone's area code is 123. Then, if you're cracking a WPA network around you, and you suspect that the person's using their phone number, then you would use option E and enter the area code, which in my case would be 123. And it would create a 10-digit number, starting with 123. This option will take a lot quicker than if you would do the full 10-digit dictionary. Okay, so let me demonstrate one of these choices for you. Now, it's going to create the dictionary file in the same place that the actual program is located. So right now I have my dictionary maker on the desktop. So I'm going to do choice E, and it asks me to enter a three digit area code. So let's say I'm in area code 123, I'll do 123, and it will start creating the dictionary file. And as you can see, area code 123 is going. I'll stop in the middle, hit Control-C or whatever, X off the program. I'll just show you what the file is going to look like inside. This is three seconds about creating it. It's going to have a couple hundred thousand lines of code already. Okay, see, 1, 2, 3, 10 digits, going from 1, 2, 3, and on. And three seconds, it already went up to oh, about 800,000 lines. Okay. Now there are two things that you should take into consideration while making the dictionary. One is the time 
as you can see, it can go as short as choice E, which is 3 minutes, to as long as choice D, which is about 56 hours. Another thing is the size. Choice E is as small as 115 megabytes, while choice D is 122 gigabytes. So you have to make sure you have enough space in order to create the dictionary file. Now someone might ask, how do I get a 122 gigabyte file from my computer to Backtrack or any other cracking software? Well, it's pretty simple. You just need a big enough flash drive or an external hard drive. Let me demonstrate. Okay, so I have my flash drive plugged into the computer and basically all I'm going to do is drag in my file which I created onto my flash drive. So here's my flash drive. I'm just going to drag it in. I'm going to copy it into my flash drive. This isn't a complete dictionary, but it's just a test that I'm showing you. And for example, if you're using it in VMware, if you're using Backtrack in VMware, all I have to do is connect it to VMware through VM removal devices, USB mass storage device, connect, and it should pop up and ask me for it. Same way you would do with the external hard drive. See? What I want to do, I'm going to click open a new window. And it should be in test is where I copied my dictionary file, and here are my three testing files. So let me demonstrate in using one of my testing files with my dictionary. So if you've watched my previous videos, you will know the code is aircrack ng minus w to specify the dictionary file, and I will just drag it in here, and it will ask you to paste it, and then you paste in the handshake file, which I have test one. Drag it in, paste, then you hit enter. And it should start doing the crack. And it'll go through all the keys in the crack. As you can see, it's incrementing, it's going up and up and up. And that's pretty much it. If you would like the password to this program, you can send a PayPal payment to kv12k at AOL.com. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to ask. You can email me at kv12k at AOL.com, or you can send me a message to my YouTube account, which is kv12k. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.